Um, let's do some top secret. Okay. All right, so top secret, we got a couple things. First up, let's show some MP3 playing with CircuitPython. Okay, you do that while I get my demo. Okay, Lady Ada, what is this? Hi, everybody. I'm testing out a new pull request to add native MP3 decoding to CircuitPython so it can play native MP3 files without a decoder chip. You want to try it out? Let's try this out. Okay. So this is with I2S output going to our I2S amplifier to a 4 ohm speaker. It's playing music. And uh, working on getting this, working on the SAMD51 as well and the STM32, and maybe even playing more than one MP3 file at a time. So that'll be really fun. So you can play all sorts of compressed audio as well as wave on CircuitPython. All on CircuitPython. So easy. All on a feather-like thing. Cool. Yeah, this is the code. This is it. It's like three lines. Open the file, play the file, wait for the file's done. All right, next up. This is a preview of the new version of our app called Bluefruit Playground. And when you start it up, it has a very nice animation. It has a nice animation. It shows the thing that you're going to do. Power up. You should plug this thing in. Discover. Anyone wants to find this thing with you. So um, this was a test for me. I'll tell you why I made this video. I'm just like, you know what? Let me just see if I can get my audio and video thing because I need to record off the phone. And I also want to show this at the same time. And uh, I'm just like, well, let me just try this out. I didn't plan on showing the video to anyone. And after I was finished, I'm like, this is kind of fun. So um, you can choose different modes. This is NeoPixels. And we're going to add more functionality and everything. Just to get everybody started instantly, immediately, what can you do with this thing within seconds? Mm. And we have a lot of surprises coming up ahead. We think we've solved some of the things that's always hard for people to do with Bluetooth and electronics. Um, but we also get to use different modules and modes because of all the things that are packed into a circuit playground blue fruit. I like the button status thing. This is kind of cool. Button. Press button, button and button. it knows that you're doing this. Yeah. It's all wireless, it's like all live. Um, this was even an older revision of the board that I had sent around. And uh, you got tone generation. If you want to play music. <laughs> Look how the speaker seems like boop, beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Accelerometer. Blah, 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 blah. And, uh, This is all with a mobile device, because not everyone has a computer. Maybe this is how you're going to interact with these things. So, I thought that was pretty cool. Oh, we're heating it up. Yeah. All right, so next up in our top secrets, we have a thermal camera um, from our oh, machine yeah. learning stem of time that we were doing. So let's uh, let's show that. Hey, Nita, what is this? Hey, it's me and you. We're yeah. warm. This is the MLX90640 camera that I'm trying out this time with Raspberry Pi. I go to Pure Python driver for it. It's working pretty fast, getting about 15, 16 frames a second. Yay. And uh, I'm doing interpolation with Pillow and then some gradient work. And you can see us, we're kind of warm and, and your camera's really warm too. And then if I stick the camera down towards the pie, you can see the pie is nice and toasty. So we think this is gonna be useful for machine learning because there's already a camera interface, but Sometimes you want to do thermal detection or maybe nighttime detection. So these little thermal cameras give you pretty good output. And I think we could train up a model to detect maybe people okay. thermally. So cool. uh, yeah, alien vision. Okay, and you have a demo. Yeah. I've got a uh, upcoming e-ink, whoops, e-ink feather friend. You can plug ink displays into it. I also have this extension cable that we're gonna get. And uh, just by special request from Scott who wanted to be able to quickly test out new ink displays, you can plug them in, gets you SD card, does have power stuff, gives you some SRAM, and then uh, you can cable up your favorite ink display and, and display quotes or whatever on any display you like. That's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, and that is top secret. That's correct.